Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today I'm showing you six easy steps to turning a blank slate of a room into something beautiful. I want to give a huge shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. I cannot wait to tell you guys why they are the only hair care brand that I have been using for the past year, I would say. Um, and I have a really great discount code for you as well, which is exciting. But for now, let's get started. So I am currently in the home of my friend, Lauren. She's one of my good friends. And if you guys remember, I made over her condo kitchen slash dining area um, last summer, actually, around the same time. So I'm gonna link that video up here if you missed it. Anyway, she recently moved into a beautiful home. I had a bit of like a, a physical reaction when I walked in here. I mean, I've seen pictures already, but being in this space is like incredible. It's my dream home. Um, so she was like, hey, could you make over the guest bedroom? It's a complete blank slate. And even though this is a guest bedroom, I hope that it gives you guys some inspiration on how to jazz up your own bedroom. So take this video as like easy steps to turning a blank slate into a room that feels stylish and homey. The first thing we're gonna do is move everything that isn't staying in this room out of here and then we're gonna start making it beautiful. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So Lauren has this beautiful floor mirror. It's gorgeous, it's wood, it looks very antique. Um, but I think I'm gonna move it out for now because it's feeling a little crowded and I wanna put some artwork up on the walls. So for now, I'm gonna move it out she said she has somewhere else to put it. We might bring it back. I don't know. TBD, basically, on the mirror. So my first step in a small blank slate of a bedroom is to add an accent wall. You guys know I say this all the time. Paint is great, but I also love wallpaper. So I found this peel and stick wallpaper from a company called Carter and Main. They sell eco-friendly and non-toxic wallpaper. I've had my eye on this pattern for ages, so I'm so glad that I can finally use it. Let's unravel it. It's so beautiful. It's like simple and classic. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, let's get this on the wall. I have used many wallpapers in my time and this feels amazing. It's like heavy, but it's still a little bit stretchy. I wish you guys could feel it. Feels so good. <laughs> you guys, this is beautiful. I want this in my bedroom. Do we need another bedroom makeover? Comment down below. Maybe not. Maybe but maybe not. <laughs> wow, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna be talking about this week's sponsor, Function of Beauty from Lauren's Bathtub because that seems appropriate and also this is a very comfortable bath. I'm so excited to be working with Function of Beauty again because Honestly, this is the only hair care I've been using since they last sponsored me about a year ago. So Function of Beauty is a customized hair brand. I found out about them on Instagram and what drew me in was their beautiful bottles and the stickers you could add to the bottles. But beyond that, um, what I love about them is that you can customize your own shampoo and conditioner formula. So you take a two minute hair quiz, you fill out um, the texture of your hair and your hair goals. So this round, my hair goals are to soothe my scalp, um, lengthen my hair and moisturize it. I love all of their scents. Um, I tried eucalyptus and lavender, two of my most favorite scents. It smells so fresh and nice. I wish you guys 
could smell. It smells very natural um, and you can customize the color, which is so fun for someone who loves decor and design. You can also write your name. So it says function of Alexandra and function of beauty has just launched some moisturizer and body wash so same deal you take the quiz it creates a formula customized to you smells amazing and just looks so good out on your shelf as well also no big deal but function of beauty has no parabens sulfates gmos toxins and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I have noticed such a difference. I've put lengthening as one of my hair goals for my last couple bottles of shampoo and conditioner. And I've been finding that my hair feels really healthy. It's growing faster. And yeah, I have absolutely zero complaints. I, I love my function of beauty. If you guys are curious to try, I have a discount code for you. So click the link in my description box to get 20% off your first order. It's worth it. Go run. Okay, guys, it's back to the makeover. Oh, thanks, Carla. <laughs> We're almost done. I'm just gonna trim off the edges here of the last panel and then step back and take a look at it. It feels incredible. I keep saying that, but it feels just so good. So good. Okay, moment of truth. Let's step back and see how it looks. Oh my goodness. I love it. It's even, it's honestly even better than I thought it was gonna be. And yeah, I'm obsessed. I know I always say like, I'm freaking out, but I really am. It looks so good. Okay, so the wallpaper's done. Now we're gonna move on to my second tip, which is to reupholster old furniture. I feel like so many of us have old furniture that we've inherited or, you know, got at Ikea like 15 years ago. How do you make it different and new and fresh? I'm gonna teach you how to reupholster your headboard. You guys, it's way easier than you probably think it is. So let's get started on that project. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to reupholster your headboard is obviously some beautiful fabric. I found this from Tonic Living in Toronto. I'm pretty sure it was under $100 for a yard of it. Um, and we just needed one yard, but look how beautiful. Now I'd recommend if you're going to reupholster your headboard to use um, something textured like linen or velvet. I just find that it adds a ton of texture and pattern to a room, whimsy, if you will. Um, so yeah, really excited about this. And then obviously you need your headboard and a heavy duty staple gun. Okay. Got it? Yes. Perfect. So the first thing you wanna do is lie your fabric face down, just like Alana and I did. And then you wanna bring in your headboard and also lie that face down because this is the side that we want showing. Oh, I'll also mention when you're shopping for fabric, you want to measure the size of your headboard from top to bottom, side to side. And then when you order the fabric, you wanna make sure that you're ordering, I would say at least like two to three feet extra, just so you can, you know, have enough to wrap around and staple. You definitely want two people for this job because the key is pulling the fabric as tight as you can over the headboard. We wanted to save on cost, so you will be able to see a bit of the back of the headboard, but that's fine because the headboard's against the wall, so it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So for the corners, you wanna stop stapling here for now so that you can um, access the corners. So you wanna make sure your fold is right where the corner of the bed frame is and you wanna pull it in as much as you can. It might take a couple tries, it's kind of finicky. Yeah, there. 
And then again, you wanna pull it super tight and then staple it. Ready? <laughs> Took us like 10 minutes. And look, it's a beautiful new headboard. Okay, I'm, I'm freaking out. This is gonna be so good. I know this probably seems intimidating, but you guys, I'm not joking when I say this was really easy. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I'll try and answer them, but I would encourage you to all give this a go. If you have an Ikea headboard or a headboard that is solid, I've seen people use um, foam, so they cut foam out to the shape of their headboard and then they reupholster it. So you're obviously not reupholstering fabric onto just wood. Okay, let's go install this. Look at that pattern on pattern. Okay, so we're going to get this bed assembled and then push it up against the wall. Now, I wanna know in the comments, do you guys love pattern on pattern like this? I personally love it and I feel like Lauren's style is very boho, it's very eclectic, and I've been having a lot of fun recently just mixing and matching patterns, but I know that this isn't for everyone, so I wanna hear in the comments. Would you do this in your own home? Mix and match these bold patterns? I promise it's gonna look good once it's all together. It looks so good. It looks so good. My third tip is surprise. Add an interesting light. Floor lights, pendants, table lamps, wall sconces. The possibilities are endless. If you live in a rental and don't want to install anything like a wall sconce um, or a new pendant light, put a floor lamp on your floor by your bed, put an interesting table lamp on your nightstand or your dresser. In this case, I am putting this fun wall sconce. I have the same one in my living room, but in gold. Um, I'm just putting one on the right side of the bed. It's gonna act as a nice reading light, but then also look beautiful. My fourth tip is to use shelving, obviously to be functional, but also to add style and accessories. And I feel like this room is a good example of how sometimes in a small bedroom, you have nowhere to put a nightstand or a night table. Because this is a guest room, we're going to hang these on the wall. And then this can be a place for guests to put their phone at night. Um, I'm gonna prop it with some accessories, some candles, but these have, Multitude of purposes, I'm gonna use them, decorate the heck out of them, and it's gonna add style to this blank wall. My fifth tip is to layer your room with tons of interesting accessories. So change the knobs on your dresser. In this case, this Ikea dresser um, doesn't come with knobs, so I'm just adding three. I'm just drilling a hole into the cabinet, into the center and twisting the knobs in. Super simple. I'm also adding a huge piece of art. This is from the printable concept. Um, it's just printable art. So you download the art, you get it printed and I got a huge size. It's 61 by 91, popped it into an Ikea frame and just like that you have a gallery sized print. I'm going with something fun. It says peachy cute and it matches with all the kind of like light earthy tones in this space. I'm also adding this bold rug again really like leaning into the patterns in this space. They're all super mixed and matched but I feel like together it really works. I love it. So fun. Tip five and a half is to fill empty corners 
with plants. Now I know we're talking about small bedrooms, small spaces. Um, you know, you're probably using the empty corner for something, but if it's a corner like this that is just so awkward and like nothing will fit here, I say put a really tall plant, something with height. I wanted to move this dresser here, but there's a vent here that we can't block, so it's gonna have to stay here. So now I'm just gonna be adding a huge fiddly fig tree. It's gonna look so good. The sixth and final tip is bedding. Sounds really obvious, but bedding can change a lot in your space, whether it's just plain white, whether it's dark and moody, whether it's patterned, bedding just makes such a huge difference. I am on a linen kick right now. I love clothes made from linen. I love bedding made from linen, and that's because it looks really relaxed and worn in. You don't have to worry about steaming or ironing out any of the creases. It looks nice when it's crumpled. So Lauren already had this bedding. It's a beautiful blush, and I think it's gonna tie in really nicely with the wallpaper and the yellow headboard. In a small space, everything counts. Everything's on display, so I'm adding this beautiful woven basket that's gonna act as a laundry bin. Finally, I'm placing this print that Lauren already had. I love when prints lean up against a wall on the floor. It looks casual, but also styled. That's it, friends. That's the room. Now it's time to reveal it to Lauren. And there you have it, six easy ways to update a blank slate of a bedroom. I'm so happy that Lauren loves it. Thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you click my link down below to get 20% off your first order, and I will see you next Wednesday.